What's up my love bugs and love muffins? It's Mama Love. I just wanted to show y'all something right quick. Um, And it's here. It was supposed to have been delivered Thursday, but it was a hold up. But here it is. I said I was going to show y'all. The table came. Ain't it pretty? I got to go out and get a centerpiece for it. Pretty centerpiece. But I love it though. It just to me brightens up the kitchen. It just, and I took the chairs like I told you all and I put them here. I gotta clean up this, off this table. But um, I thought it was too crowded with the four there so I just took and put the three there and then the chair, the extra four chair right there. But this is that. Yeah, so stay tuned I guess. I'm back y'all. Um, I'm sitting out here in the garage. Cause I know I got the table in there, right? So I gotta, I put the table out here in the garage and I took one chair from in there because it was too many chairs that was sitting up around the, uh, you know, around the island. Don't need four chairs there, I only need like three. And so the extra one that I just put out here in the garage and it's actually peaceful, whatever. And I know it's echoing, good, whatever. But anyway, um, I'm going to do uh, my 2019 New Year's resolution, uh, what I will be doing, what I won't be doing, what I'm gonna uh, tolerate, what I'm not gonna tolerate. Um, and it's all good stuff, y'all. Like, you know, next relationship I'm looking for, what I'm looking for in that relationship, you know what I'm saying? And uh, it's kind of exciting when I think about it. Um, first off, you know, one of my New Year's resolutions was to be uh, a better me. Now, I, to tell you the truth, I started not to do this video because so many people uh, and so many, uh, every year we always make these New Year's resolutions and we don't stick to them. Now, uh, I can say about the weight, um, I started in November, really. I, like around, yeah. I was on it in October, I fell off. And I found myself back in November and I was on it. So actually the weight loss is with the, uh, it was not, I'm not going to say this New, New Year's resolution. It's not part of that. I'm already doing it. This is already, already a part of my life, you know, is what I'm trying to say. So it ain't going to be one of those New Year's resolutions. I'm going to drop all my weight. No, I started before then, you know. And, uh, but I will say this, um, I have a better way of looking at life now as far as health concerns, being that um, I am going to be 49 years old this year. Um, I, um, I eat fish a lot, um, salmon, as y'all know, I've been telling y'all about it. And uh, I eat a lot of vegetables um, and I drink lots of water. Um, I never get tired of the same meal because I'm eating to live. I'm not living to eat. So um, it's healthy for me and it, you know, it, it's doing my body really well. I'm feeling really good about it. Um, and so that's how that's going. You know, I'm just, you know, it's just a new way to, you know, change your life. You know, um, all the health uh, benefits that's in. The salmon is, you know, with the hair, it helps with skin, it helps with your sight, it helps with a lot of things, you know. And I've really been feeling that. You know, I've really been feeling real good in my body and everything. And that's just something that I don't want to turn loose. I don't want to go back to, you know, I, I, like I was. And like in the past, I have started diets or whatever and been doing good. Now I'm never going to get big, I'm never going to go back. And I always end up going back. But this time it's, it's different for me because I am turning uh, 49 years old and I do want to be healthier when it comes to that and also you know I want to be here for my kids and that's the next one relationship my new year's re resolution for my relationships is going to be a uh, different type of uh, men um, uh, I'm not going to say men because I'm not going to be with several men what I'm talking about is relationship when I'm being courted or you know being found or whatever uh, I'm not going to uh, date men that doesn't have the same thing that I have, you know. 
Um, you gotta have your own place. You gotta have your own car. You know, you. I just, I'm just not gonna house men. I'm not gonna do it. You know, I have teenagers here, and yeah, they gonna grow up and leave. But even even in that, you know, um, I, I just believe that a house um, with your family should be just with your family and not move any, you know someone to come in and interrupt that you know that could cause problems so and then you know you you know um not to say that he can't come and visit you know he could come and visit and uh he has to have a place where i can go visit him you know stuff like that um what i'm looking for in a man is uh, uh independence i'm looking for independence um i'm looking for an unselfish man um I'm looking for a man to who's gonna love me for Reva. For the I want him to see, you know, not just the outside of me, you know, I want him to see the inner me. I want him to know me, my personality. I want him to, you know, love me for me basically. And I want, you know, that him to know that um I do come with a package. I, I got a family, you know, I got kids, you know, even where they almost grown and out the door, but still, you know, they my kids. Um uh, I got grandkids, you know, um, to, to accept that, you know, and I'm not asking you to buy for them or not even buy for me, you know, but just to be like a friend, you know what I'm saying? Like a, a friend, a good friend and an older guy, not, you know, um, younger. I went, um, younger. I don't know, I always attract those, um, I don't know why I always attract men in between the age of 38 and up. You know, it's always been, I was the youngest, was, oh, the youngest one was, not, I'm saying I didn't date this guy, but I'm saying the ones that seem to be attracted to me, um, 30, I'm like, I'm not, I'm not being nobody's cougar, I'm not being nobody's mama, you know, I got three kids I'm a mama to, and I'm mama to their friends, of course, but I'm talking about, I'm not, about to be nobody's mama where you know they just laying up on me and no no i'm not you know um you know and, and i and i think that comes from the past where you know where um what people say you know you heavy so you desperate and i'm not a desperate person so no i'm not desperate because i'm heavy and also i'm not going to be heavy because i'm changing that but at the same time when i was heavier that don't mean that i'm just going to snatch any man because i feel like you know I had made a lot of mistakes in my past um, concerning relationships that I wish I knew the things that I did know now what I went back through back then I wouldn't have went through a lot of things that I've been through um, I'm just looking for companionship I'm looking for loyalty I'm looking for friendship I'm looking for laughter live and let live have fun that's what I'm looking for in a relationship I want to do a single that's one of my resolutions I want to do a gospel single, something I never did, and I just feel like God gave you a song for a reason, you know. He gave me a song three years ago, and I never did anything with it because I'm not a singer. Um, I can hold a note, but uh, 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 it's a difference between a, uh, you call to sing or, or you just have a, a, a gift, a talent, you know what I'm saying? And uh, to use an example, like... A uh, queen has a gift, a talent to sing or whatever. Um, I sing, uh, that's what God called me to do. One of the things that he called me to do because I can't get away from it. It's like whatever church I'm, I end up at, I end up singing a solo. And I, I wouldn't even be, hey, I sing, I sing. I never come out and say that, but I was always found. You know, God always allowed it where I was found. You know, so I'll end up in somebody's pulpit singing a solo. I didn't want to do it, but... You know, it's whatever God wanted me to do. So I said all that to say, when I sing, I sing under the anointing. It has to be the anointing of God. If I can't sing under the anointing, I'm not gonna get up there and sing because what I do is, is, is God's gotta be in it. And that's basically what anointed means. Anointed simply means God is in it. And um, yeah, if he's not in it, dang, I'm not gonna waste my time. Um, so I do plan on getting a gospel single out. Um, I did want it to feature some someone. Um, if it don't, that's okay. God called me to sing it. I'll stand alone, you know. But I believe that he will open up doors for me to be able to do that. I want to be able to stand completely on my own with no help. 
no, you know, coming out, nobody coming out their pockets for me. You know what I'm saying? And it's, and it's, uh, including my kids. I want my kids to be able to, you know, not have to worry about mama. You know, it's a beautiful thing when you're honored as a parent and your kids, they look out for you, but you know, you, you want to have something going for yourself. You know what I'm saying? And that's what my channel brings me. However, I am getting paid to let people know because uh, uh, one of the comments was uh, when I got the table in there, uh, delivered a comment, you know, somebody said, that's a shame. She got to put stuff in the layaway and clean. Uh, I need to get her mama that table. I didn't have to put the table in the layaway. I wouldn't purchase the table. But nevertheless, if I did put it in the layaway, that's what I chose to do because it's not Queen's job to take care of me. You know, it's not. Um, what she does is she she does, you know, and she does it uh, out of honor. But it's not because I twist her arm to do so. And also, um, I would like to um, el eliminate some of that. Well, a lot of it, really, um, too. So that's what my channel, you know, a lot of people say she's trying to get that bread. Well, I don't know anybody that's not on YouTube that has a channel that's not trying to get paid, you know. So my channels are to inspire and God knows that I mean every bit of everything that I'm saying, you know, it's so big that I get paid, you know. God is just that good, you know. And uh, YouTube hires and YouTube pays. So I would like to be fully steady on my own without being a burden to any of my children or no one else for that matter. Um, like for that relationship that I'm looking for. Um, just because you want a relationship with a man, don't mean that man, you know, you, you want some independence for yourself. You don't want that man to just be, you know, taking care of you in every which way, you know, he can walk off and you be standing there with nothing. So it's good to just have yourself in an independent state, regardless of who it is, who it is. You know, and always remember number one thing though, to depend on God. I will look unto the hills for which cometh my help. My help coming from the Lord. And he created the heavens and the earth for me to have it. You know, but at the same time, we must be wise on how to uh, prepare ourselves to, you know, live. And I totally depend on God. Now, whoever God uses or however God does it, that's on God. I'm just a receiver, you know. And um, however God blesses me, um, I'm grateful, but at the same time, like I said, I would love to be fully independent because sometimes, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this, sometimes when uh, uh, people can do for you, and I'm gonna use a, you know, say a man in a relationship, you know, um, people, uh, t t you can tend to throw things in your face. Um, you know, you were here, I'm doing, I did this for you, I did that for you. And it's kind of like, um, you want to be able to stand on your, your own without nobody throwing nothing up in your face or other people can throw, that person may not throw things up in your face, but the other people that are around know that this person did something for you, they'll throw it up in your face. Like, you, you only got that because of this and all of that. And, you know, which is really nobody's business, but it's just good to be independent. So that's one of the things, four things I am, uh, trying to do. Um, the fifth is to really let my light shine this year and not let people get me out of my square. I started out 2019, um, you know, like grudge free, not holding grudges and stuff, you know, and uh, I allowed, um, I'm a confessor, I, I, I um, allowed an individual to pull me out my square and I had to quickly repent because I mean what I say. I'm not going back into no uh, begrudgeful state. Um, I'm not going back into, you know, like unforgiveness or any type of being bitter towards, regardless of how you think a person did you or treated you, I can't, I can't. Because the scripture does say, you know, uh, our weapon for our weapons are not carnal, but they're uh, spiritual and through pulling down the of strongholds and um we're not supposed to be carnal minded we're not supposed to be carnal minded. we're supposed to be spiritual you can't fight something carnal you can't fight a person meaning you cannot uh fight them oh uh, with these or even with this you know what i'm saying you have to take that thing spiritual and look at it like this ain't even that person it's the devil that's using them and you have to go 
pray about it. You bring it to the Lord in prayer. That's how you fight spiritually. You come up against the enemy in prayer. Uh, you cast him down in the name of Jesus. You know, you're not fighting with your mouth and going back and forth, arguing and all that type of stuff. I just refuse to let myself do that this year. I refuse to let the enemy use me in 2019. So I'm declaring this and saying this in front of all y'all. You know, I refuse to let the enemy do that. Um, like I said, I was doing good and the individual got me out of my square. So, um, you know, sometimes you can talk to a, a person and make them feel belittled and um, it just sets you off. You know, this is why uh, it's good to, you know, God bless the child that's got his own, you know, and um, you, you just have to watch how uh, you allow somebody to get you out your character. You gotta be, you know, because this a person can get you out your character and then turn around and accuse you of getting them out of theirs. And that's not the case, you know. I'm just not a miserable person walking around here saying, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just make this person miserable. Let me see who else I can, who else can I, you know, because I'm not, I'm not a bitter person. And um, anybody who knows me knows that, you know. Um, I am a type of person though who does speak my mind. I, 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 my honesty gets me in trouble a whole lot. It always has been. And um, now I see what my mother talking about because my mother used to say that all the time. My honesty gets me in trouble. Well. I'm just like my mom when it comes to that, you know? And uh, so a lot of me speaking my mind causes, you know, it's, it's, and a person don't always not want to be around you because uh, you, you've done something to them or uh, you just a uh, mean, bitter person. But a lot of people could not want you around because you simply speak your mind. I just want to be able to let my light shine 2019 that when people look unto me, they don't say, um, I see Reba. I want them to say I see Christ. And that's how it's supposed to be as a Christian. Um, I, I heard a lot of people in the past speak in my mind. Um, even people in leadership. Um, you know, I, I rebuked uh, a pastor one time. And I had no right to do that. I thought I was right at the time. But I wasn't. God let me know that quickly, you know, but um, it's like you're not supposed to rebuke an elder, but you're supposed to treat him as a father. And you won't, you know, you, if your father's wrong, you're not going to go correct your father. You know, you're not supposed to, you know, um, but you are, um, you can make them aware that um, you were offended and you can go in like a childlike manner, meaning humble, humble yourself, you know, but... Um, other than that, um, I just want to let my light shine this year. And I want to be uh, a help unto others. A lot of people say that my channel inspired them a lot. It caused a lot of people to want to turn their life back around. Some people that were in church, um, they, they gave their life back to God um, just listening to my videos. That um, that really encourages me um, to know that, but at the same time, uh, I don't want any of you to follow my life, and because I'm human, and I can, you know, I can fall myself, and then if you're looking at me, you know, and saying, "Well, I'm, you know, I'm going to God because, you know, I'm looking at her through her." You know, go to God for God. Go to God for Him. Don't look at me because, like I said, I could fall. And then you'll be like, oh, I knew it wasn't right. I knew this wasn't real, you know. Because a lot of people do that. They um, seek after, uh, you know, they, like, they live their life through people and leaderships. And, and then they see that leader fall. Or they see a person that they look up to, they fall. And all of a sudden, they don't want to serve God no more. Which I don't understand because God didn't fall. They made a mistake. They human, so but we blame. That's why we ought not follow man. We follow God, and so that's my New Year's resolution. And the main one is one is it's really hard to do when God say love your enemies, man. That's when you just gotta put the Holy Ghost to work, y'all, because I have been hurt so much. I have been hurt so much, and I'm sure a lot of y'all have too. But to step outside your comfort zone and say, you know what, 
I don't care what nobody think of me. You know, you ever, you know, want to step outside your comfort zone and go to a person and that you know that was your enemy and you say, you know what, I'm going to be nice to them today. I'm going to offer to take them out to lunch or whatever. And then you always got that instigating so-called friend and be like, you stupid. Why you do that? Or use your mind to tell you that. The enemy. Not your mind, but the enemy to tell your mind. Why you do that? You like you made yourself look like a punk. You look, you made, oh, well, you know, the word of God says to love your enemies. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, you know, I'm going to say this too. Because I heard someone say this. She doesn't reach out. She didn't reach out to me. I was told um, that I didn't reach out to a certain individual or individuals, you know. Um, you have to show yourself friendly when you when you want a friend you show yourself friendly that's how we make friends we don't we don't uh, make friends uh by uh attacking one another you know i'm never gonna be a friend to y'all if if i'm attacking you you know when you want a friend you show yourself friendly when you want somebody to reach out to you you know i can't reach out to you and before i can reach out to you you're already biting biting my hand off or biting off my head you you can't say in one breath you know you didn't reach out to us but then you turn around and uh you say things like you know badger or, or put a person down especially when you really don't know the person or have not met me have not even met me and don't know me you know what i'm saying you, you can't do that. You have to show yourself friendly. If y'all want to make friends this year, show yourself friendly. Um, negativity. Negativity. You know, um, I have to stop using the excuse. I'm transparent. I am. I got to say it about myself. I have to stop using the excuse. Well, you made me say that. Or you made me do that. You know, because I have a... I will say it quick. You know, because... I still do have that temper. I still am in my flesh. I'm not, I'm not, I have not arrived. I have not made it yet. Yes, I, that, that temper is still there. Has it grew? Have, have I gotten better? Yeah, I have gotten better. But still, it's like, um, it's like a, a anger there. And I understand the term where they say hurt people, hurt people. That's true. It could be, you know, you don't ever know what somebody's going through and you could just push that button and a rage come out. Like, where did that come? It's already hurt down there. You know, a person already been hurt that way. A person has already been battered in that way. And then here you come along and you're going to put your little two cent on it and then you get the brunt of every, what everybody else done did that I done held in for years. And then a little slight thing you do, there it is. You know what I'm saying? So we got to be careful in the way we treat people and negativity is I refuse to deal with negative people. You know, just like people want to say, well, I can't. They use the word, I can't, I can't, I can't do this. Guess what? I can't either. I can't do it either. And, um, and you move on. You move on. But you make sure you better yourself for you, for you, you make sure you better yourself and, you, and you're able to stand on your own to where you can feel good about yourself. That way, anybody that comes along, I don't care who it is, you won't feel belittled by that person. And that's all I have to say and I'm gonna end this video off of that. Just make sure you, you're standing in good grounds. Make sure uh, you're independent. Make sure that you find yourself being friendly. Make sure you find yourself being a lovable person. Helpful. You know, make sure you can help somebody. You know, I want to be in a position where I help and take care of my mama. You know, this is a negative world we living in and it's getting worse and worse as we go. And, uh, you know, people looking for positiveness out there. People looking for people that are showing themselves friendly. People looking for somebody that, that um, can stand on their own and independent and can help someone, you know. And that's where I want to be. That's where I want to be. And I'm saying that's where I want to be because evidently that's not where I am. I may, if, if, if I'm there or if I'm halfway there, I'm not there. You know, I could be this close, but I'm not there. So that's why I say I want to be. I want to be loving. I want to be careful of the next relationship I go into. I don't want to be, uh, you know, foolish. I want to be wise, you know. And those, that's my New Year's resolution for 2019, to be a better person. And uh, I, I pray that, um, oh, and, and one more, um, being in service on time. I have been a person that has been late for service in the past. Some people from uh, churches, the saints or whatever, uh, know me and they probably saying, hey, man, girl, please, because they know. 
I'll walk in the door, please. A half hour, 45 to hour late, you know what I'm saying? That I'm changing too. You know, I want to be on time for God because he he's always on time for me. So I want to be at my services on time and, um, you know, where I could be prosperous. So if you start out right, you'll end up right. One of our bishops said that. That was Bishop Holland from uh, Ferndale, Michigan. But um, I just want to end that video off that door. And I just thank y'all for hearing me. Thank y'all um, again for supporting me. I can't get enough of all the beautiful comments that you send me. Um, and y'all y'all looking for an email from me. I will put um, the email in the link below. I'll put it. And uh, I want y'all to be blessed in Jesus' name.